Hello guys, welcome to CDDS Max News. This is the first episode for 2023. It's January and we will see the news that happened around 3DS Max during this month. For the starters, we have that all Thinkbox plugins are now open source. We announced that it will happen and yeah, finally are now uh, available. So we have Krakatoa, Xmesh, Frost and Astok. All the code for these plugins are now on GitHub, so everyone can download it, can modify it, can do republishes and modifications on it. So it's pretty amazing. The community can make it better and it's possible now to port it to different 3ds Max versions without depending on Thinkbox. We have Phoenix 5 Update 1. This popular plugin for fluids now it's able to add the formers to any volume or particle. As you can see here, they are adding a twist modifier over the fire. And you can do the same applying bend modifiers or whatever over the fluids. It now supports for real time interaction with V-Ray, CPU interactive render. It has fog absorption color and fog face. And in 3 d Max, we received an update for the UI for faster feedback and more control. Final Fluid as well received the service pack 1. Final Fluid is a fluid simulation from Sebas Technology that allows for real-time uh, simulations using a NVIDIA graphic card. And on this version, it's improving the VDB exports and it has a nicer looking smoke. Render Stacks has been updated to version 2.66. It has now a new material map parameters modifier where you can control any material or map parameter per pass. As you can see here, it's adjusting the color on the diffuse map and you can switch so you can have each render rendering a different material color. It has a new generate batch. It allows to generate a batch file for local rendering instead of using the current session. So 3ds Max can render without 3ds Max open and this will allow you to render or do any type of operation like saving files on the background. As well, it has different improvements and fixes on the UI and other stuff. A stack up is a free Max script by Cine Software. Allows to very easily distribute and randomize objects over a spline. It's a very simple and cool tool to create all types of buildings. For example, you can define different bases, intermediate and roof type meshes, and this Max script will stack them totally procedurally, applying different textures and variations on them. Cinesati created 10 different tutorials where you will be able to see how you can use a stack up this Max script as well as Cyclone, other of their modifiers, to generate procedurally a street with buildings, totally procedural. If 3ds Max is not loading after a Windows update, can be related of a Wacom driver, make sure to update to Wacom Tablet 6.4.1 that addresses specifically a problem of the previous driver preventing Max or Maya to open. Rapid Tools showcase a teaser of his and grab UV tools for 3ds Max. It's not yet available, but it will come soon. It allows to have opened the UV editor while performing mesh operations. And an open beta will be available very soon. You can see as well that as they showcase will be really fast compared with the ungrab in 3ds Max or comparing it with other software. We all like free stuff, and Norberto Aguilera shares for free the rig that he created with the help of Rami Mohamed using facial controls and 3ds Max Bipad. You can download the file in a stack, the group in Facebook, and yeah, it's awesome to have this free uh, stuff. So thank you a lot, Norberto. On a stack on Facebook, as well, they share this very cool YouTube playlist with a cat rigging course. It's covering all the steps to rig and animate a character in eight different videos. It's really complete, really professional, very cool playlist. We closed Effective Technical Directors store, uh, but we decided to make free all the courses that we had on the store. So right now, we had a lot of different tutorials covering mostly thinking particles. You just need to register. We don't collect any type of information or anything. We simply share it for free. You need to register to be able to be on the platform. But yeah, you, you have Thinking Particles Zero to Hero, TP Procedural Road Creation, one in Spanish that it's called Curso Thinking Particles Básico a Intermedio en Español, that's in Spanish, Thinking Particles Chain Tool, and from my friend Goran Pablas, there is a very technical course to create interactive trees in Thinking Particles. The tutorials allows you to go from a very basic level in Thinking Particles to an intermediate pro level, uh, so it uh, covers all types of range, and I think that can be useful to a lot of people. 
For the people supporting me on Patreon this month, we had exclusive tutorials as well. I did one where I do guided simulations in, in Typeflow. So I use a low poly deforming object that will transform or it will drive a more high res object that will be destroyed following this motion. It's very used in production a lot of times and I think in Typeflow it's very easy to do. And as well, I shared with my Patreons a Typeflow setup that I create to create debris blast in the ground. So imagine that you have a gun shooting in the ground and creating this blast of debris. You have this setup in my Patreon. And it's time for our favorite section, 3ds Max is only for RGVs. We start very strong. Turn 10 presented in developer direct his new iteration of Forza Motorsport. Forza is a very popular racing car game for Xbox. And they showcase on a video some gameplay footage of his new version of Forza and some behind the scenes. And the interesting stuff is that you can see how they are developing the game, how they are creating the assets. But you can see that the 3ds Max UI is in different displays where they are filming this stuff. Yeah, turn 10 using 3ds Max for creating assets for, for uh, Forza Motorsport. Alireza Akbari created this cool apocalyptic scene on his spare time. He used some kit badge for environment scattered with forest pack. And we can see some Phoenix on the viewport playblast. I assume it's Phoenix. Mohamed Gadimi created the vehicle you can see here. That as you can see is as well a pretty amazing model by itself. Done in 3ds Max and rendered in V-Ray. Hashem al Sher shared this commercial for a lawyer client. He used Typhlow, Phoenix FD, Unreal, Maya, and 3ds Max. And from a lot of action to a very calm, rocky forest stream, done by Massimo Verona. Use it to experiment with the scattering workflows using 3ds Max and Forest Pack, render it in V-Ray, and Photoshop for the final grading. Adrien Otavaere created a very cool building generator using Rail Clone for 3ds Max. It creates these cyberpunk buildings with very few clicks. The goal was to create, just select a spline and then ask how many levels he wants. Uh, this was used for the Free Fire Double Trouble, that is a production that we already covered some months ago. And the result, yeah, as you can see, Rail Clone for 3ds Max can create very cool procedural assets. Masayuki Koyama created an impressive personal work just for practice. It's a huge environment with a flying boat. Masayuki did everything from scratch. He used Maya and Houdini for modeling, Substance Painter for texturing, and 3ds Max using Forest Pack and V-Ray for layout, lighting, and rendering. An awesome project from only one guy, and yeah, amazing. Rooming Cow created this image, it's a static image, but it's amazing. With this, he win the Ham 3D challenge. It's about a grandfather that was a racer, and this grandfather is talking with his child to try to remember the, the things that he did. Uh, very cool, it has a personal style. He used 3ds Max, Mari, Photoshop, Substance Painter, ZBrush, Rhizom UV, Marvelous Designer, and Fusion 360. AJ Jefferies created this cool typography for a comedian podcast. He used a combination of Typhlow with VDB Sphere Packing and Phoenix Particle Shader for the bubbles in the bath, or Natrix to groom the fur on the teddy bear, and all has been rendered with V-Ray, another very cool and different project, trying to combine a lot of different styles on this section. And if you like it so far, wait, because we have uh, still two more shots that I think they are awesome. A lot of content this January. Make released Procedural Light, and it's a series of shorts exploring the sculptural quality of light, exploring the materials that generate, capturing or reflecting the light and the unique gestures that they can create. It's his description, not mine. And all done in 3ds Max and Typhlow, directed by Danny Robashkin. A lot of cool different concepts playing with lights and yeah, all has been done in Typhlow. And let's remember that January 28th, Typhlow Pro made one year anniversary uh, since the first release for the Typhlow version, the Typhlow Pro version. And yeah, so many cool stuff has been created in Typhlow so far. It's hard to believe that it has been only one year since the Pro version. And yeah, I can wait to see what will come next. 
And we will end this first month of 2023 with a short film from Os Gemeos, The Giant. And it's directed by Pedro Conti and Denis Sisma. It has a very interesting aesthetic, as you can see. I already covered this studio some months ago, and they have this really interesting and cool look that I really like. Cool illumination and effects. I can see on the credits that Alvaro Moreira uh, was doing the effects, so I will assume that Houdini was used for the liquids. And as you can see on the making of, all the scene assembly and lighting has been done in 3ds Max. Awesome project. I like a lot this studio. And that's it for the month of January. I hope that you like it. A lot of stuff. And if you like it, please give a like, give a comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And thanks a lot to all my Patreons. That it helps a lot. Seriously, guys, uh, all the people helping me on Patreon. I love all of you guys, but if you are on Patreon, it helps me a lot to keep doing these videos. It's quite some work. And as well, I have a specific, unique tutorials for all my patrons. Every month I try to have one or two exclusive tutorials for them. So yeah, thank you so much guys. See you soon and goodbye.